Hello. In the last episode I promised we were going to be doing the glassing of the holes. However, it's been too cold to do that kind of epoxy work and the holes needed more shaping and more filling of voids and fairing and such. So in this episode we're just going to deal with the issues around the, the holes or pontoons. Uh, but anyway, let's get cracking. So I have put the pontoons back on the saw horses. I'm gonna start prepping now with the, or I'm going to start prepping before I do the glass fiber. Uh, so I'm going to have to sand every surface and do some fillings as well. Put some voids, make some fillets around the mountain points and back here as well and around the hatch. This hatch it's kind of like I should make it bigger but there's a bracing in the middle here and I don't want to remove it before I have gotten the outer shell of glass fiber on so I think I'm just going to leave it like this this summer I just make a small hatch and then next year I'm going to extend it and cut cut away with the middle part here because as long as uh, the glass fiber is on I don't think it's going to matter it's going to be strong enough so that's the plan.
not even. So I'm gonna take some spackle and shape these points. It's going to need to be done on all four sides because I want them to have a, a fair curve. This is probably the best one of the four, because it needs to get a bit of fairing. And then I'm gonna shape the keels, I guess, uh, just rounding off the corners, making it smoother. So it didn't turn out super well the first time but I'm gonna sand it down now and redo it and after that it's probably going to be good enough So the lines I've, or the chamfering I have done on these uh, keel boards or whatever you now want to call them, uh, they are not 100% perfect. And it's not going to matter either way because I'm going to round over all of these edges. So if you can see here it's kind of rough. But now I'm rounding, rounding them over, so it's going to get smoother and smoother. But I'm going to try to do this in stages, so I don't overdo it at some point. I would like them to be fairly even in the end, but right now they are not super even. It's coming along. Also, I think I'm gonna try to reinforce this front edge where the boards uh, or the sheets meet up. I've done it a little bit already on this one. I think I'm gonna put some of this back and keep it going all the way and try to get a fair curve on the fronts and backs of uh, the pontoons. It's not really that much more work and I think it's going to be more durable in the long run. 
and it's going to be way easier to shape the front as well as it is now it's kind of flat and I'm gonna try to round round this shoulder as well it's hard to get the focus there but. so this is going to get a round over a quick sanding block got some spare pieces left over I think I'm even gonna try to make some kind of handle it's going to be super rough I don't have any tools to shape this edge but something that I can put my hand against when I push So it's a bit rough but this is going to be good enough for what I'm using it for so I'm getting close to the final shape of the keel now I'm going to leave it a bit flat like this it's going to be easier to assemble everything I can just place it down and it won't tip over as easily I think it will be more durable as well so I'm getting close unfortunately it's kind of difficult uh, here in Sweden we we don't have the right kind of temperature right now I'm, I'm like just below the minimum for using epoxy so 
we've been around like 15 degrees but the minimum is 18 I think it's fine anyway but still and I'm putting down the glass fiber I would very much like it to not fail but I think it's going to be warm enough tomorrow so hopefully this will be the underside at least will be glassed tomorrow I made some upgrades so I have rounded over this edge and on the other side so I can get into the fields better So, been doing some fairing and some sanding now, and uh, I think I'm pretty close to start with the glassing. I'm going to start with uh, the pontoons upside down and do the bottom first. Uh, it's been delayed quite a bit, this project. It's been too cold to use epoxy these past weeks, so but now it's better. So I'm going to start classing these pontoons in the next one. So and again, thanks for watching.